main card opener. Two young prospects, Zalal is 23, Tapuria 24. Zalal is taller by three feet, seven inches tall. Weighing in officially 146 pounds in eight professional fights. He is perfect with eight victories and no defeats. Fighting out of Alicante, Spain. Here is the undefeated Ilya Topuria. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter standing 5 feet 10 inches tall. Also weighing in officially 146 pounds. His professional record at 12 bouts. 10 victories with 2 defeats. Fighting out of Englewood, Colorado, USA by way of Casablanca, Morocco. Here is the Moroccan devil, Yusuf Zola. And your referee in charge of the action is Kevin Sataki. Lots of interest and hype around this contest. Thank you very much, Red, letting oh, us know. Gentlemen. Round one is ahead, maximum three fives. There's the newcomer, ready, Ilya Tapuria. Ready? Let's then dance. Yusuf Zalal. He is looking to be the first fighter to four wins in 2020. We see Tapuria in the black, Zalal in the red. The challenge for Tapuria here is trying to set up that takedown because Zalal's movement is constant. Constant, he likes the knees up the middle as well, yep. so you've always got to have that in the back of your mind. If I if I don't set it up, if I don't put a punch in front of it, am I going to run right into Oof. something like that, like a flying knee from Zalal? Nice check hook, though, from Ilya Tapuria. And all the while that Zalal is circling towards the right hand, he's in danger because nice. Tapuria's one knockout and his record was up against the fence as his opponent was circling towards the right hand. Yeah, and it was a clean single punch. And, and I like that uh, Tapuria will attack the body. You saw him go with the jab there, and he loves that, that liver shot. He will dig in with that, that punch, but he does have to put you up against oh. saw it there. And he looks to come over the top with the overhand. Ooh. Salah told us that he's dreamt of landing that knee. Thinks that's going to be his ticket to his first finish in the octagon. Yeah, and there was a little frustration in the fighter meetings that he's not quite got that uh, finish on his record yet in the UFC because he's been close a couple of times. Oh, my word. Pete Barrett. <laughs> How tough was How he? How did he take that back kick? Good Lord. And we've already got some fierce competition for performance bonuses as, though, as well tonight. There's that right hand again. He keeps posturing for it. Been very impressed with Tapuria this week. Paul, very calm, collected. You wouldn't know it was his UFC debut. No, I mean, he, this guy knows what skills he possesses. He's got submissions, such good wrestling, and, and like Dan was talking about, one-punch one knockout power as well in his back pocket. Really, he wants this fight on the floor, though. Three years of black belt, he wants to prove his submission skills and clearly feels that's where he's the most competent in this fight against Zalal. Yeah, and as Karen said, he believes that Zalal looks like a white belt. And that's a man who's got, to your point, Paul, five submissions on yeah. his resume. Trying to finish this takedown here. He's got to watch his neck. Zalal's wrapped around the chin. Don't grab the cage. Don't grab the cage. Nice turn from Zalal. Let's see if he breaks here. Oh, he's going for a takedown of his own outside Reaper, perhaps. Jocelyn for Lovely oh, oh, suplex there wow. by Tapuria. That's a statement. And that's the Greco back Straight over Tepuria. as well, into mount. Look how oppressive this top position is. He's got the arm trapped across the midsection. He's trapped around the body. He's great find the legs. He's going to work his ground and pound here, but Zalal's got to be careful of his neck. Zalal's just earned some Georgian air miles with that one. <laughs> Good Lord. Here we go. And he's hey, setting up that arm triangle. Head and arm choke may even take the back from here. Yes, pick your poison for Zalal right now. Good work for Zalal, clearing that hook. Oh, he's looking, he's going to dive in on that arm in. Yeah, I was, that was interesting, right, that he kind of gave up the back, jumped to the side. Yeah, it's like what Jack Hermanson does with the Joker team. Good work here by Zalal, hand fighting, he's controlling the wrist. He's going to try and work back to his feet, still not out of danger. Look at the power of Taporia, just muscled him down. Using a lot of strength here, though. And he a doesn't give space here. He just tightens and tightens. Yeah. He'll sense this up, turn this into an, an anaconda in a so moment. he's going for yeah, 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 it. Yeah, he's using he's his knee. I love that he's using his knee to, to manipulate That's that beautiful. elbow of Zalal. Now he's going to try that. Now all he's got to do is cut. Yeah, he's Zalal looking to clutch around his elbow. Zalal's Zalal doing a great job, though, of trying to did a really good out job. of this. Very good. That's what Amir Khani did against Danny Henry when Henry was trying to push on the hit to stop that. He trapped that arm. 
but Zalal did one better there. He's still, he's still in this position. Now oh, there he is. snatches that. that arm and guillotine That's super tight. quick. Is Zalal going to push off the fence? He's trying to. Space. He's just going to follow him and take the mount here. Now he can hip in. Now he's going to hip in. Zalal's fighting through this, doing a great job of staying in there. Now he's going to switch it. Now he's going to get a He's switching it. And this is what the point it's non-stop, one submission to the next. He changed things together so well. Watch he is he squeezing. Right now, what's saving Yusuf is that, that arm across the belly, but you see the look on his face. He's hurting, but nice job from Yusuf. Great job. Well, this white belt in inverted commas is doing pretty good so far. Still not out of danger, though. It hooks in. It's allowed back to his feet. Oh, it's going to stretch him out. Wow. I mean... This is just such an aggressive submission attack. Nice lead left hook from Tapuria. Last 10 seconds. That's going to give Zalal some time to go back to his corner and readdress a few things back after the break. Brian Ortega returns hungrier than ever against one of the most exciting men in the sport, the Korean Zombie. Entire night on ESPN Plus main card at 7 Eastern. Prelim starts at 4. Tapuria wanted to get this one going as soon as possible. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he had so much success with those submission attempts, but Zalal was able to fight out of every one of them. And it's not like they weren't tight. They were in, completely in, and he was managed to get out of each one of them. And now his corner imploring that if he takes center, he's got to keep it. He can't back up. They don't mind him skirting around the outside of the cage and using footwork. But when you do have center, occupy it. This is an interesting approach from Zalal here. Maybe feels like he's got confidence on the ground with Taporia. Now he's felt his best. Taporia quite happy to engage in this range, though. And that overhook can quite easily turn into a choke if uh, Zalal's not careful. Some of you might have noted that live betting line. Tapuria came in as a plus 130 underdog, switches to a minus 265 favorite after that first round. Salau here circling towards that single leg, taking some shots for his trouble, tries to finish this takedown, but he keeps putting his head in danger. Yeah, that's the problem, right? If you keep pressing the issue to get this takedown against Tapuria, it's just a matter of time. He probably loves this, okay? Eventually, your neck is going to lower, and I'm going to be able to try to snatch up a guillotine or some kind of choke to at least defend the takedown, if not get the submission. And as we saw last week with Jermaine Durandamy, if a fighter gets too focused on working a takedown and they think their opponent's just in a defensive mode, they can quite easily leave themselves vulnerable. Nice knee to the body there from Toporia. Nice elbows as well to make him pay for that. Yeah, I think down to the side of the head. He's getting worn quite a bit here from the ref, but we can't really see. It looks like they're to the side. Yeah, he was trying to protest his innocence, and they got told off for talking during the fights. <laughs> Good. Let's go, Yusuf. Improve position. Good defensive work here by Toporia. Break you up. Head position on your side. Trying to create yeah, some space. Yeah, trying to frame up here. There we go. This is where Taporia wants to fight if he's on the feet. Zalal back up against the fence. Whoa! Oh! Big left hook. Oh. Here's the knee. Oh, I think we're seeing Zalal slow down a little bit here again. Oh, he's trying to land that knee, but he's getting clipped on the way in. Or as he's landing. Watch that right hand coming over the top. He's trying to line him up for it. Oh, oh lovely man. one, too. The shoulder there. <laughs> Luckily for Zalal. Oh, showed the knee, shot in quick. Good timing on that level change. Zalal checking the clock. Lacing up the legs. Got to watch his neck. He's going to pop that out, no problem. There's nothing there. Somebody's bleeding. I Tapuria think it's the bleeding. eye. Yeah, the yeah. left eyebrow. He just pulls Zalal in, strips his base away. Triangle attempt, no problem. Just throws the legs right off to the side. Looking for Mount here. He's in half guard. Yeah, now he's going to wrap that neck. Immediately, right? Dead. He wastes no time. As soon as you yep. get any glimpse of that neck, he grabs a hold of it. Trying to he's slide. Looking for this mount of guillotine. Hold out of the cage. He's trying yeah, to slide that knee cage. across the mount, but now he's driving off the fence himself. Yeah, he's got that tight. A bit like your friend Sean Brady oh had that goodness. mounted. Going to team with Zalal got out of that. Yeah, I mean, it's just 
Some guys are so good at just wrapping, baiting you in. Oh, no, I've only got one arm. And then, like Sean does, it just hips into you. And the next thing you know, you're freaking out and panicking to get out of there. Oh, and now he removed the arm from the guillotine. Now he's solely on the neck. Oh, and he steps over to that's Mayer. it. That's going to be tight. He's, he might be out. He's not moving. No, his arm's still there. He's oh, still all right. there. Sorry, I mean, he wasn't moving much, He's in a triangle position. Oh, nice work by Zalal. He looks fatigued. Survival instincts from Zalal here as Tapuria is putting on a bit of a grappling masterclass right now. And you've got to think, his heart's pumping, he's gasping for air, and his airways are being attacked constantly. Zalal's got to feel like he's in a bit of a sinkhole, but he turns it around. Nice work. Yeah, just when you think Zalal's maybe slowing down a little bit, he pops out of there and jumps on the back. That blood disorder doing him some favors here. He just shrugs him off there. I thought before he's going to use this as an opportunity to land some yeah, I don't, That was not a great sign there for Zalal. Zalal's going for the leg. He hasn't got long to... We're looking for that knee bar. Taporia with the thumbs up. We're going to see a third round. Time! Let go! Snack of UFC. They touch him up. Third and final round then. Stung him with the jab straight off, as Mark Montoya called for in the corner. There's the knee. But it offered a level change, and Taporia grounds the fight. Trying to create some space here. He's got an overhook. Taporia uses the opportunity to pass. I believe this is the first third round ever for Taporia. Gets his work done quick, but that speaks to the defenses of Yusuf Zalal. Watch Better watch arm. his arm here. Yes. Taporia could turn this into his own arm bar. Matt Hughes, George St. Pierre. Mm -hmm. I've had a few comments about the history trip for some of the old schools watching, so I'll keep throwing the references in there. TJ DeSantis, shout out to him. This is an interesting yeah, position yeah, here. He's locked the leg and he's... He's going to take the back. In a scramble, he's going to take this back. One hook's already in. Yeah, you're right. He's, he's going to throw back. that other Beautiful hook in. Work. Slick. Such a slick grappler. But credit to Zalal. I mean, you know, we are really seeing the extent of his jiu-jitsu here. Certainly not the position he wants to be in. Oh, he's got his oh. under the neck. Short grip. Man, he's great on that. <laughs> She's finding a way out of these things. I think that's five submission attempts now from Ilya Taporia. But unfortunately, he's doing exactly what Mark Montoya doesn't want him to do right now, and he's engaging. But Ooh. that's something Taporia is so good at, right? He baits you into that because you escape, and then you end up on top, and it's like, oh, yeah, just keep grappling with me. That was a good knee. It's almost a preset. When you've already engaged in grappling, you kind of keep playing yeah. that game. It takes an intelligent fighter to disengage, which is what we've just seen from Salah. Another level change from Taporia, but that drive is slowing down now. Oh, he's oh. the neck. Salah wanted to emulate his teammate, Brandon Royval. This would be an upset if Salah got the finish here. Wouldn't it just? Taporia, you can see his ribcage expanding. He's still oh, breathing. Yeah. And he was giving the thumbs up there to the ref. And now Zalal finds himself on the floor again. Goes for the wrist. Maybe he's going to try and feed his knee through. Let's listen in to the factory S X corner of Yusuf Zalal. Triangle on the left side. Yeah, yeah stop that head. You got to stop that. Now push on his hips and get up. Yeah, yeah you push on his hips face, and get up. Face. Yusuf, you got. Hey, when you have space, Yusuf, you got to push on his hips. Hey, get get hey, frame. Get we need a frame, frame back. Here. We need a frame. Get your frame back. Hey, he's looking to just hold you. We need this frame, baby. So now, not able to, to execute, apparently, on what uh, Mark Montoya was calling for. Yeah, Mark wanted him to push on those hips. He went for that triangle, which is what his coaches wanted. But once he didn't have it, oh. Oh, they wanted him to just kick off and oh, man, disengage this grappling. Because you can see there's a clear advantage here for Taporia. Yeah, I mean, Zalal's doing great. But it's it looks dangerous. It's just, yeah, it's defensive. Yeah. This looks dangerous. He's got palm to palm. Zalal's turning his face towards the choking arm, though. He's doing the right thing, but he's got to be careful. A good squeeze across the jaw could still cause a tap. Trying to fight those hooks. Oh, turns that's in a his great palm. job. 
looks a long John to Bury. Just gets out of the way. Let's see what Zalal comes back with here. And we're really seeing some fatigue in the legs. Oh, and the Bury is really backing Bury. off. That is negative body language there from the Spaniard. So Zalal's got a minute to work here. You see Tapori is showing big signs of fatigue. Sat up against the fence there for a break. Three of seven takedowns and five submission attempts. He's going to take it out of your arms. Yeah, I mean, it's not for lack of trying. He's no. been trying to finish this fight constantly, but another yes. takedown. Zalel, Zalel's been like Teflon. Nothing submission-wise is stuck to him. The instinctive wrestling game, though, of Ilya Tapori is showing through. Oh, this this is the antidote he needs right now, because if they separate, that is definitely going to be in the wheelhouse of Zalal. Trying to chase a neck. 30 seconds to go. They're so even on strikes. Total strikes, 40 to 39. One strike in favor of Zalal. Oh, there's that flying switch knee, but it was caught by Tapuria. And it almost take half the power of that to get this down grounded. Last few seconds in this very intriguing contest between these two young prospects. Watch the work. And there it is. We'll be back with the official decision after the break.